Good evening from Anspatat, another beautiful beach on the island here with again beautiful granite rocks all around and also some palm trees. So again, nice subject matter. Only thing that's missing now is really the light. So looking west again, thick clouds. So I'm not too sure again if the sun will come through, but I guess I just have to wait. And if not, then I'll just come back tomorrow. But yeah, I want to talk about the tides and yeah, how important it is to study them for seascape photography. For example, this cove here. I wanted to photograph it uh, two evenings ago already, but the tides were too far out. So the rocks in the foreground, the water didn't flow around them. And also for this reason, there were already footprints from other guests to the hotel, which is just behind me. So today, the tide is in much more, so there are no footprints. This cove is now perfect for photography. And yeah, the other day when I was shooting, I just went to the other side of the beach where the low tide was favorable because some rocks were revealed and I could use them for foreground. Those rocks are now covered in water and I can no longer photograph it. What I'm trying to say here is that if you know the tides and if you have a few days in an area, you can plan so you can check areas which work on low tide, other areas like this here, which work on higher tide and gen, uh, then just go there when the tide's right. And if you don't study the tides, you might end up in the wrong location and yet your compositions just don't work. So always important, check the tides. Yeah, and now, unfortunately, I can't influence the weather. I can just hope that it will clear a bit and yeah, wait, relax, and yeah, there are really worse places to spend the evening, even if I don't get a photo. So, wish me luck, but anyways, I'll have a great time here. So, it's getting closer to sunset now and the clouds are shaping up very nicely. But I just climbed up on this rock here and had a look west and yeah, it's still quite thick clouds there. So it's maybe 50-50 chance that the light will break through and light up these clouds here. But yeah, anyways, it already looks quite nice and I got a few photos and yeah, I want to quickly show you my setup. So, as usual, I have my GND filters in front of the lens and I'm using the Casa set again. So I have a 0.6 hard GND, 0.6 soft GND and the polarizer here, which all together let me cope with this high dynamic range quite well. So maybe I can show you a photo I just take, I've just taken. So. Let's look at the histogram. So it looks quite nice, but you see I also have lots of dark tones in it. And for this reason, I'm also using bracketing of two exposures. So I also get a brighter frame to give me some more room to play with the dark tones. But using the GND filters already gives me a very good starting point for further post-processing. And yeah, this funny thing up here is the Rode video mic, or well, I'm not sure how it's called, it's a cheap one. So I just got it to be able to record some yeah, videos of the scenery and have more directional audio. So having the waves and I'm not sure, um, haven't tested this. So we'll see in the videos I create for you how this copes with the situations here. And hopefully it gives me some better audio for my yeah, little sequences which are cut into the videos but now yeah half an hour till sunset so a little more waiting fortunately i only brought one beer which i already drank so now i just enjoy 
without a beer. So, the light in the end was quite decent and I think I got a good photo, which I'll show you in a minute. And yeah, I'll also show you the photos about which I was talking in the beginning from the other side of the beach now. And yeah, for now, let's call it a day and tomorrow we'll be off to the next beach. See you.